Good morning, Box. This is going to be a hodgepodge kind of video. Um, this is some of the footage from the Big Latch On. Some of it got lost, but I hope that you enjoy um, the Big Latch On. And for those of you who don't know what the Big Latch On is, the idea was to set a record for the most number of um, women breastfeeding simultaneously. So. Um, here is our footage from that day. All right, we are here and we are early. And this is really cool, you guys. Look, shaded parking, but that is, um, what is it called? UV, why is, solar power. Those are so, solar power panels, which Arizona is the perfect place to have solar power. So that's really, really cool. Um, our big latch on is at the library. There's a few different ones, but I decided to go to this one. And um, we're gonna see, I saw another mom with a toddler and a baby going in. I didn't bring Roslyn with me because Ken and Roslyn are having uh, TV time. Uh, but I, I brought my pump with me because I wanna know if I can count as two if I pump and uh, latch at the same time. This is the strangest editing ever. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with wind, so I had to cut out the first part of this clip, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the rest because I think it's kind of interesting, I don't know. Um, but basically, I'm talking about my ring sling that I'm wearing that I made myself, so here you go. I'm trying to break the ring sling in because I'm giving it to a friend of mine, actually the same girl that I pump for. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear it a little bit before I give it to her so it's nice and soft and all broken in. Um, so yeah, if you guys are thinking about getting a wrap or a ring sling and you feel like they're really expensive, they're super easy to make. And if you use like a jaggered, 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 I don't know how to say it, jacquard um, tablecloth, they feel identical to woven wraps. So that's a really cheap way to do it. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do that sometime. Ken's gonna be so sad he missed it. I got a little lost, but I just looked on the site and this is the room I wanna be in, so. Exciting. They totally said I could do both. So I found a little outlet for my mini pump. I just have a little, little one-sided one because I didn't want to bring the whole big thing. Um, so I plugged that in and I'm gonna try and nurse her and pump on the other side and then I get a count of those two babies. So that's exciting. And um, someone is sleeping. She's teething. She popped her first tooth recently. So hopefully she'll wake up for the actual latch. Have to do little tickles or something. that you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. I hope that anyone that went to the Big Latch on had a good day um, and enjoyed it. And I'm on pins and needles because my best friend who was due, uh, gosh, what day is today? She was due three days ago? Uh, texted me last night saying she's having contractions. So she tried to sleep, I tried to sleep, but I'm hoping that I get to go to her birth. I'm really excited. She's my best friend in the whole world. We've been best friends since like fifth grade, so. Um, but I'm trying not to text her because it's 6 a.m. right now and I don't want to like wake her up if she's sleeping, if she's managed to sleep, which hopefully she did. She is in fact in labor. Um, I'm on my way to her house right now. I'm not officially speaking her doula because she's not paying me, but she's my best friend, so I'm kind of functioning that way. Um, if I was her actual doula, I wouldn't be allowed to be vlogging right now because when I'm a doula, I can't even say I'm at work on social media, but she's my best friend, so it's a little different. Um, I took Ken's car though because there's no air conditioning in it and I didn't want to leave him without air conditioning, so I hope he's doing okay with the girls. This has been our weird hodgepodge of footage. Um, so now we are all kind of caught up. A lot of footage got lost. But um, my friend did have her baby. 
She had some complications. She just got out of the hospital yesterday, three weeks after the baby was born. Um, but that's not my story to tell, which I've talked about on the Heidi Kim TV channel. Part of the reason why I've been a little bit absent. There are other reasons as well. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and maybe we'll get back on track now that things are kind of caught up. Um, especially since we lost so much footage. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.